So John here, uh, we're down at Tom for the start of pre-season. First of all, how have the last few weeks been for yourself? Yeah, it's been very good. You know, I mean, we've been uh, making sure that the players have been doing their uh, running conditioning away from here and maintaining uh, the weights conditioning and doing some off-feet work as well. So they've been closely monitored by our strength and conditioning staff. But we've had, uh, we've also, we're in the process of having a, a lot of staff uh, movement. Uh, you know, we're losing staff for the right reasons. They're moving to uh, Super League clubs. So we're having to take this opportunity now to just freshen up our staff and hopefully improve our staff. So it's been a busy time, but it's been a, a very productive and fruitful time. Does the buzz of the staff pre-season ever wear off? Is it still as exciting as it was a few years ago for yourself, John? It is very much so, yeah, especially when, uh, you know, it's going to be a brief pre-season, in all honesty. It's not going to be a long, a long drawn out, on it? And it, I'm looking forward to that because the the Covid season, shall we call it, when we were, we started preparing for the, the winter competition, then there was lockdowns where we, we coached through Zoom, and then the brought, and it, it was 51 weeks from the starting pre-season to ending the season. And, and it wore down everybody, and, and not only at this club, but other clubs as well. So, you know, we've decided to come in at such a time, it'll be short, it will be intense. Then the trial games obviously start with Halifax on Boxing Day at, at Odsall, so that will excite me and I'm sure it will excite the players as well. And we've got a, a, a structured pre-season with regard to trials that obviously will be announced in the fullness of time, and, I, and it will allow everybody in the first team and reserve team squads to play at least one game uh, and the maximum anybody will play will be three because our squad has, has increased drastically simply because of the fact we've, we're running a, an extra team and also we identified the fact that we were a little skinny really and there wasn't enough competition for places. Well, I feel that there is now. There were some familiar faces walking through those doors, some new ones as well. How much are you looking forward to seeing those personalities gel together? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's one of the challenges of pre-season. You know, it's, it's not only doing the individual work, the skill work, the unit skills. It's, it's bringing them together as a group as well. And obviously people like Steve Crossley, George Flanagan, they're very, very important in, in that. As well as obviously the, the bosses, the coaching staff. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to seeing how they react to this environment. Uh, everybody who we've shown the Tong Training Centre to when we're talking to them about signing, they've been blown away with it and they'll now see a, a different side to it when it's a, it's a bit of a blood, sweat and tears side now and uh, I'm certainly looking forward to that. There's been a period of a so-called off-season but how much of that off-season you know, helps build the success or whatever's achieved next year? Yeah, I, th I, think, I don't think people realise how much work's done in the off-season, shall we say, in order to prepare for it. Players are doing a lot of work because they've been they had two weeks where they're allowed to, you know, just put the feet up, or if they wanted to play a different sport like squash, they could do that. And then they've had a five-week running program, uh, along with a, a weights maintenance and an off-feet conditioning one. So they've been pretty solid with their work, but it's been away from here, which is good because it then allows them to come into this environment and be enthused and be excited about being back. And I know that the vast majority are. One of those faces is Eben Skur, who has signed a two-year deal to stay up our please here to get it to get it over the line. Absolutely delighted. You know, I mean, I don't think it's it, well. It has been well documented, hasn't it? And uh, it's been out in the public eye that you know there's been Super League clubs looking at Eben, and I understand why. Uh, but we're delighted to have have, made, have got his signature for the next two years, which obviously. It's a bonus because one is a very good rugby league player, but two is come through our system as well. And it's good that it, it, we demonstrate to people we can hang on to players despite interest from the league above. As a young player, still lots of areas to improve, so that two year spell gives him a chance for stability and a chance to focus solely on improving his game. Yeah, I mean, Evan knows that, you know, and. Uh, I've spoken to Evan about where I feel he needs to improve. I think he knows where he needs to improve as well. But it's a matter of putting those strategies into action and then them fulfilling themselves on the field of play. And as I say, he'll certainly get the opportunity to do that, but he'll have to train well in pre-season and he'll have to perform well in the trials because 
unlike last year we have got competition in every position and it's it's absolutely giving me a great deal of joy as i'm sure it will the fans we're not quite over with the recruitment strategy but how do you feel a squad shape you know? very well very well indeed yeah i mean uh, i'm i'm hoping that we've we, we've we've done it in a very managed way you know season one was promotion which we managed to achieve season two was consolidation Season three was the COVID season, so another C. But then we, we started to be competitive and challenging last year. Well, this year I want us to be contenders. So I really do want us to be looking at the top end and perhaps, uh, you know, shaking some feathers up there. Obviously, Lee and Featherson will start as a favourite. But I think ourselves, we've recruited well. I think York and Halifax also have, and Witness. So it's going to be tough to get up there. But that's going to be one of our aims and objectives, is to be genuine contenders.